Thank you to Squarespace for being today's video sponsor. Hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina. If this is your first time tuning in, uh, I run a real estate design business in the Atlanta area and we are in my closet today because just recently I have revealed my entire closet makeover that I just did. We've even started a fashion channel. I mean, we are going crazy around here. I am having the blast. I love my closet. I love being in my closet. I love organizing my closet. And so today I thought it'd be really fun to share with you some of my top organizational hacks that I use to create a luxury look in any closet. These are ideas that you can use no matter where you are and what size closet you have and what kind of budget you have. You're gonna love these and they're going to absolutely change your life. So let's jump in. Shall we? Oh, don't forget to hit subscribe. <laughs> don't forget to hit subscribe and make sure you check out the fashion channel too. But you can do that. I'll remind you at the end. For now, let's jump into today's video. Ooh, you. thank you, Jack. <laughs> Wow. Just call me. That's a lot of foam. <laughs> Just call me the closet boy. The closet Instead boy. Instead of the pool boy. Oh. <laughs> I just hang out in here with no shirt on waiting for you. Darling, just <laughs> gonna just drink my coffee. <laughs> the biggest thing that I like to do, I only put into my closet what I actually am wearing. I know for a fact that so many people have stuff in their closets that they can't wear. Either it's completely out of season and there's no way they're going to be wearing a winter coat in the dead of summer. I find as well that a lot of times people also, they, they have clothes that they can't fit in and they kind of torture themselves. And, and I'm 100% guilty of this. It's the skinny jeans that I'm going to get back into. Yeah, when it's like six years later, it's like, yeah, no, just face it. <laughs> they don't fit and they just torment you. So we're just gonna put those things in a box and put them somewhere else because your skinny days are going to come back, but you know, they haven't yet and it just clutters your closet. And I find that when my home is operating on all cylinders and my closet feels really good, I feel really good, I've got things cleaned out in the kitchen, I've got the kitchen organized, I'm making healthy meals. You see, all of these things lead me to not be stressed out and therefore I don't stress eat and therefore I'm at the weight that I wanna be and then I can bring the pants back in. So I just think that it's better to not have things in your closet that you just can't wear. And I started to do this a while ago and I realized pretty quickly that it is life altering. So take out any non-seasonal items, take out things that you that you can't wear, take out things that don't fit. I mean, honestly, if you have some beautiful party dresses and they're crammed into your closet and you're not going to any parties anytime soon, maybe you just need to have them in a separate storage area, maybe a separate closet. Uh, I have these really nice black hanging racks that I use that I got off of Amazon. I keep those down in the basement. Actually, I can show you. I buy these little uh, bags that I, these little clothing bags that you can just zip up and put over stuff. So for a long time, I had this, an entire stash of blue button down shirts and I never wear them. I just literally don't wear them. I never reach for them. It's one of those classic items that I feel like I'm not, I'm not gonna get rid of this, okay? I'm just not. It still fits, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just not in the mood for it. It's not even out of season, but I don't wanna wear it right now, okay? So I'm gonna put it in the basement and I've got these little hanging racks and I put the little the little clothing um, jackets over them and I've got really heavy coats in here. I've got some pieces that are kind of unique but I don't wear so often. I've got all that on my hanging racks down in the basement. I wanted to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is Squarespace. You guys know we love Squarespace and there is a reason and that is because they helped us launch House of Valentina. We absolutely love them because they make starting your online adventure, whether you're gonna have a web page, you're gonna have a store, you're gonna have a blog, you can have it all. You can have it all or you can have just whatever you want. They make having that online presence so easy, so streamlined, so customizable, it's amazing. Whether you're gonna do it for personal reasons or you're doing it for business, you're going to meet like-minded people and it will change your life. It has absolutely changed our life being online and so I recommend checking it out. It's gonna make the entire process for you 
just so easy, you will love it. So go to squarespace.com, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com backslash House of Valentina to save 10% off your purchase of your first domain or website. I think you guys will love it. I'll leave all the details down below in the show notes for you. And now let's chat about some more organizational hacks. I think color coordinating your clothes will revolutionize the way that you get dressed. It looks more organized. Okay, come, 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 come. Okay. Okay, now tell the kind people. Do you keep up with the system that I've created in which I color coordinate your clothing? In my closet area? Uh huh. Yes, I do. Have you gotten to where you really do it? I really do. Okay, do you think it changed your life when I started to do that? Because at first you thought I had lost my mind. I thought you were crazy. <laughs> yeah. I called a psychologist and I did the whole thing. And I was like, guys, come on. This is nuts. She's hot, but a little loony. But, <laughs> but it really makes a difference, doesn't it? It's easier to put stuff away yeah. and it's a lot easier to find stuff. Yeah. And thankfully, like you, you wear all black, I wear all navy, so I just have like an entire <laughs> section of navy clothes. I'm like, this is so easy. Yeah, it is easy. Yeah, you have a little section of like khaki pants. <laughs> yeah. And it's kind of yeah. like Granimals, the way that you organize my clothes. So I'm yeah. like, oh, I just pull out this shirt and these you pants. You and Granimals. I don't know if most people know what that is. Do you guys remember that from like childhood? I didn't have Granimals. You would Granimals. put the hippo shirt with the hippo bottom, it had a tag in the back, and they always matched. I actually like that idea. I could see that working in like, like, grown-up fashion where it's like maybe like a circle or something yeah or like a triangle in the tag that yeah would... yeah okay we're gonna start another company <laughs> why not we've already got a few going yeah exactly all right well thank you all right yes. thank you very much so there you go I think it's life-altering it definitely seems to help be helpful for him and I think they don't really help you so what I do is that I color coordinate uh, so I've got the white section I'm not like super anal about this okay like it's just like the whites and I try to put things that are like tank tops basically the skimpiest item to the heaviest item so like a tank top to a t-shirt to a blouse and then we get on to the blazers and I guess technically if you're following my system that one's heavier it should be in the back but I don't know just stick it in there okay we just want like heavier items to the back lighter items to the front and I start the system over again when I get to sort of these beigey brown colors. And again, I'm not gonna be like crazy about it and try to like make everything the same exact color, but I think that having them sectioned off and color coordinated makes it so easy. For me, I go onto my like to know it. I do it all the time. I used to do Pinterest all the time and I just have a hard time finding what I want on Pinterest. So I just started creating my own mood boards so I could get dressed easier. So um, I'll leave a link for my light to know it if you haven't checked it out before. It's a free little app that you download and you can use it on your computer as well. And you can just see my mood boards. And so what I'll do is I'll open my mood boards and I'll think, okay, I wanna wear a white t-shirt. I know exactly where it is. Okay, I wanna wear a black blazer. I know exactly where all the black blazers are. It makes my life so easy. It will change your life. Just try it. <laughs> there is one thing that even when we were newlyweds and we had no money whatsoever, uh, I was literally willing to invite myself over to my parents' house for a meal <laughs> so, so that I could afford my nice hangers. <laughs> I know. Okay, so maybe I maybe shouldn't be admitting this all on the internet. Maybe this is a little nutty. The hanger, the hanger to me is everything. To me, you can have the least expensive thing in the world. This is a little bit more expensive. This is a silk camisole or a little white t-shirt from Amazon. Okay, I just feel like we elevate every item. It makes everything feel more special. It makes it feel, uh, more sophisticated. I personally just love a wood hanger. I love them. I absolutely think that they just change everything. They really elevate it. They make the whole room feel like it's a store and it's special and it's more boutique like. But for my kids, they have really tiny closets, really tiny closets and a lot of stuff that they want to squeeze in there. So I do have the space saving ones for them. The little velvet ones that you can buy in bulk off of Amazon. Those are great too. If you have, if you really need to save space, those are definitely the route to go because they are literally half the size of these as far as width, and you can literally get double the amount. 
but for me I still just prefer the wood hanger and these come in all different colors of course the black just matches my black hardware it matches the lighting and the art and so of course I wanted some black but uh, you can match them to your theme but having hangers that match will change everything I separate by category I find this to be very helpful so as you can see I've got here that's the section of tops and then I've got a section back here now this is a section that I use now I'm starting to use it a little bit more of things that are coming into the closet but generally I'm gonna have uh, low long hanging and dresses that are gonna be here so I'm gonna have like the the cozy sweater dresses in this section because I don't want to hang it up here and have it dangling down I want to have it in its own section so I have a long hang section where generally it's going to be long hanging coats and dresses you can also see up here that I separate the sweaters and I fold them I think that folded sweaters is just the best route I really just don't put them on hangers it just ends up messing up the shoulders and sometimes it just doesn't bounce back so I just don't do it I just fold them I think it just looks better and um, yeah separating my category so all my trousers are in one section you can see the whole closet tour if you want on um, I'll leave a link because I did it just a, a week or so ago I think it makes a really big difference it makes it really easy to get dressed and it just looks more organized now we're gonna get into the stuff that is probably what you're expecting this video to be about and that is the actual organizational things the stuff that helps me organize I do have a few things so I've got a few uh, I will refrain from showing you all of my uh, underwear and bras you know how pleasant is that yeah I have, <laughs> I have a lot so I really like them uh, but the thing is is I like to have well, I'll show you I'm actually gonna show you I am gonna show you because I use the Marie Kondo method to fold my underwear and yes I color coordinate the underwear as well because I just find it easier if I'm getting dressed they're not in a big ball and so I just fold them if you're only gonna do like I'm not like super crazy about it sometimes they're not exactly right like I'm not gonna stand here and like mess with it for hours I'm just gonna do it really fast once you kind of get the system going you are good to go so if I'm looking if I'm gonna wear a light trouser I need a light pair of underwear to go underneath them so that's what I'm gonna do is I have them separated so I know where to go uh, then I do the same thing for the socks and I think that the Marie Kondo method for socks is genius I don't use her methods for everything I've read every single book that she's put out I love her to death but I don't think getting rid of all of your stuff is a good idea I think getting rid of stuff that you don't use is a good idea I suggest storing some stuff but generally I think that she's amazing and I think that her folding method for socks is genius and for underwear so all I do for this is instead of folding them over themselves you know like we all have kind of been taught to do where you fold them over themselves no no that takes more time this is time saving you literally just put them together and fold them in half that's it it's so much faster to get them done to you know I have three kids okay and the boys I don't know, they have stinky socks okay so there's a lot of socks and we're just like how about you go change your socks I know it's only 2 p.m. but yeah go change them so there's a lot of socks happening a lot of sock action lots of sock folding I go with this method it's super easy the organizers I purchased off of Amazon they're really inexpensive I've owned them from Ikea before I've got two different kinds that I've used from Amazon I'll link all of them up for you but they will change your life they are awesome and you will love them I showed you guys in my video that I have the built-in jewelry area right up here well I was saying in the video probably should have done two drawers like that so I'm kind of thinking through I might have it retrofitted but in the meantime I actually before I had my closet done I had bought these from Amazon and they are great in fact I wasn't sure if I wanted them to be black in here I was thinking about maybe making them match so I just ordered another set as well so I'll leave the link to this set and the other ones that I just ordered so you can have options if you'd rather have one that matches the drawer or if you want it contrasting but either way they've got the really nice little velvet lining they've got all the slots so you can put everything in this little set comes with space for bracelets watches and then I've got this one for earrings and then you can just choose how many you want of each of them these things are amazing and I'm gonna go through my jewelry and probably separate out just a little bit because I have so many earrings 
and really not enough spots to put them. And my jewelry is one of those things that I, I am not as careful about taking out the things that I don't use as much. So I was thinking I might put some things over here that I don't use as much because I kind of have like a, an earring thing. You felt, you already saw my tour. So if you saw the tour, you know, I got a lot of pair of earrings um, and I love them. So these are also, oh, the other one I ordered was the sunglass ones. And I think you could actually use this one for sunglasses as well. So um, yeah, I've got the, I've got the organizer for the, the organizers for the sunglasses coming as well. So I'm gonna add those in because yeah, I like sunglasses too. <laughs> okay, so I love to have these kinds of canvas boxes. I think that they are perfect for overflow items. I, in the past, I'm like, I'll just put, you know, socks that I'm not using or bikinis or super seasonal items like in my bags. I don't want to do that. It's just hard to find stuff. So instead, um, I like these kind of canvas boxes. They're really great and they come in three different sizes and they're perfect because you can put them up high and yet they're not out of your closet. So if you don't have the vertical space filled in your closet, you could always add an extra shelf up there and that way you could put your boxes up there. But I think long term, long term, long term storage is really great with these kinds of canvas boxes. They're really, really breathable. You can see there where it's got kind of that little mesh kind of thing. It's very breathable. I think it's great and I love these and they're really inexpensive and they come in lots of colors. I wanted these to be really neutral because I don't want them to really kind of stand out in my closet. But yeah, they have all different colors and I think that they help you to put your things away. Okay, next up are some sort of maintenance items that I think really help me at least stay super organized in my closet. So I've got a couple things. So uh, one of the things that I always have is the little uh, debobbler. It will take all the little pilling that you get on your sweaters and your clothing and it's just a fabric shaver basically and this one is by uh, Magitech and it's literally like ten dollars on Amazon and uh, you can see there's a little fuzzy and literally all you do is just turn it on and uh, rub it over the sweater so it will literally shave off any of those little pilly bits that are on there and you just turn it on and rub over it and it literally works literally working right this second I think this thing is amazing. I have a minute with my shaver. <laughs> it's therapeutic. Okay, get one of these. You'll love this thing. Uh, I had a more expensive one and it died like the third time I used it. So that was what was in here for my tour and mine died. So I don't know if I left the code or the link for it, but if you, if you got one, just return it because it's a piece of junk. This one's 10 bucks off of Amazon. It's awesome. And uh, then the other things that I have, I've got the little bags in here for lingerie and things that, you know, need to be delicately washed. So I have them sitting in my drawer. So I don't have to go scrambling around. I'm not trying to separate them out later when I go to run the laundry. I have them sitting right here in my drawer. So I just throw everything in here, throw it into the wash, and then they're really obvious because, you know, they stick out in the wash. And so I'm just a lot more careful. And it just helps me stay organized, helps me to, you know, get things done a lot faster. So I'm very appreciative of those. Then I also started to keep the stain solution in here. I love this one by Laundress. So I've been using this and I have to be honest, I didn't wear the brush. I just did it like old school style where you just kind of rub the fabric against itself. I just ordered the brush off of Amazon. Should be coming anytime now, but I thought that this was amazing. I'm on my second bottle. It's really good stuff. It really takes the stains out. I love this company because it's eco-friendly. It's uh, sustainably sourced. This, this one's unscented, uh, biodegradable, non-toxic, allergy-free, cruelty-free, no animal byproduct. You know, it's good stuff. So uh, I love having this on stash in my closet because then it just makes my life easier, keeps me more organized and all that good stuff. And then of course I have a steamer. Now <laughs> I just stole my own steamer for another job and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave that with my work related stuff. I mean, this is part of my job. It's just what I do. So I end up with a lot of steamers. So if I take one on a job, then I went to order a second one by Kexi and they didn't have any in stock at the moment. So instead I, I ordered this one from Electrolux and it is awesome. It's awesome. It actually stores a ton of water in the reservoir and it works really fast. It heats up almost instantly 
And the thing I like about it is that it's got an extra, extra long cord because sometimes, like in here, if I've got it plugged in over here and I want to steam something over there, the cord doesn't always stretch on some of the other ones. This one is awesome. I really like it. And it even has the little strap on there so that you can actually fold this thing back up and keep it nice and neat and organized. So these are a couple more things that just help me to keep the closet maintained and organized so there's not stuff just thrown everywhere. I feel like those are the kinds of things that will keep you super organized in your closet. And it gives a more luxurious vibe when things are put away and things are orderly and tidy and steamed. It just looks more high end and yeah, it's just, you know, a lot of it's just t-shirts from Amazon. Okay, before you run off, I've got a couple last things I want to show you that I think you will love. These are organizational items that you are going to freak over. I know I did when these arrived because, you know, I'm dressing up my closet, I'm investing time and energy into this. I'm like, why didn't I know about these before? <sighs> okay, so these are these gorgeous bag holders. It makes everything you hang on it look like the most fabulous bag in the entire world. And I do have to say, these are fabulous. Uh, these are from Anina Bing and I had to have the set. They're so cute. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm a little crazy about my decor in my closet. I don't expect everybody to be like that. But if you have bags to hang up, if you have something that's a little bit awkward, these are incredible and they're off of Amazon and they come in all different colors. Oh, they're awesome. And you can actually raise and lower them. So if you have a, a longer strap or whatever, you can just adjust them. Then the other thing that I have, okay, <laughs> are these little risers. So these are really cool because they come in gold and they're really fun. And they do actually come in other colors as well. I decided to go for gold. You know, it just matched all the hardware on my bags and I was like, ooh, that's just kind of cute. I've got a lot of black in here. Why not add a little bit of gold? So I went for the gold and they're really fun because you can just set them up on your shelf. Right now I have these, see this bag is just kind of leaning against it because it's just a little crossbody kind of bag and I'll have one leaning and I took down the bag that, I, that was sitting up on the top riser. I'm, I'm using it right now, it's in my car. So um, yeah. Oops, as <laughs> I make a mess. Just lean it up there against that. You can sit it on top and then actually you can get more in there if you want to. So those were such an organizational find and I it just makes my closet feel like, oh my gosh, it feels so designer. It feels like it's a store and I just absolutely love it. So these are things that you can use in any closet. You could use them on your dresser. Wouldn't that be so pretty? Yeah. Can you tell that I love organizing? Yeah, I get a little bit giddy about it. So um, I clearly do not need more caffeine because I'm uh, yeah, pretty wired as it is, but I'm gonna sip my coffee, probably spend some time with my deep pillar and hang out in here and, you know, enjoy my space. I hope that these tips today have gotten you excited and inspired to get in your closet, do this for yourself. You're gonna switching things out for the season anyway, so why not give your closet a little bit of love and attention, which simultaneously does the same for you. Uh, I hope that you love the video. Give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe and hop over to our fashion channel and hit subscribe over there as well. We are literally about to hit 10,000 subscribers over there. So go grab your spot. You'll be among the first 10,000 on our new channel. I mean, <gasps> that's such a big deal. I can't believe it. I can't even talk about it without getting emotional and then I'm gonna spill my coffee. So you guys have a head over there, check out the channel, give it a, a big thumbs up and a subscribe. And uh, yeah, um, make sure you check back here. We'll have more videos coming soon. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs> Bye.